Yeah. That was really something to watch, too. Uh, the Fox Ditto between these two players is uh, very dynamic. Yep. Back and forth. I didn't see the whole set. But it's just incredibly hard to, like, commentate something like that because it's just... They both break out of each other's momentum so easily. <laughs> yeah, it looks to me like Buzzroll is slightly more likely to mess up, which is going to have a huge factor on this, because yep. his tech skill isn't quite as solid as Frizz's. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Because I mean, I'm pretty sure Buzzroll like, practices this stuff much more than Frizz does. Like, oh, he does, but the thing is... Uh, Frizz. That is a rough start for Buzzroll right there. Oh. Now I want Frizz to lose because he taunted. <laughs> You're freaking leffing. You freaking left well, it. Well, uh, Buzzroll brings it right back, so it's, it's no problem. Buzzroll should have taunted. <laughs> he should have done it. I don't know. He probably just wants to stay in the game at this point. Oh. Which he can do. He can do maybe, possibly. Oh, they switched colors, didn't they? From last set? Yeah, Frizz yeah, okay. was playing originally as blue, and then game four. Yeah, he I was to getting red. confused. I thought it was uh, I thought it was Frizz doing stuff because the colors, <laughs> the colors of last night. No, Frizz is never <laughs> neutral fox. He's never uh, vanilla fox. Uh, well, uh, note to self, I guess. I'll remember that later. That uh, he does not play white fox, and Buzzroll always does. In case we see these, oh, I'm sorry, Buzzroll. That uh, if you're watching this, you know that that's what I was talking about. Slightly more likely to mess up. And I, I've seen that play a, a big part. It's like Buzzroll is super, super crispy, right? Yep. Like everything he does is really crispy, but he's also more likely to just like randomly air dodge off the edge or like off a platform off the side. And like that's what I'm saying. That's probably going to make or break this match for him. Oh my gosh, that was so brilliant by Frizz. The miracle grab. The miracle ledge grab. I think that might be the best uh, shine I've ever seen. <laughs> the just like, grab immediately and then shine him afterwards. Yeah, that was so beautiful. You shine him like to the inside of the stage too. And then what cracks me up is that immediately afterwards he side bees and he just goes underneath the yeah. ledge just barely and then dies. Yeah, he makes a little mistake there, but you know, live and learn. This is only game one, so you you never know like. If Buzzroll, if Buzzroll is trying to get information at this point, well, I can't really tell. To be fair, this yeah. is starting to look like a repeat of what happened in the set before this in Winners Finals, in which Frizz actually two stocked him in that set, I believe, as well. Ooh. Game one. Ooh. Buzzroll making something happen. Maybe he's figured something out. Just... It's kind of hard to figure something out in this mess of connections. <laughs> yeah. But that's it. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. No matter, doesn't matter how good his recovery is, he's never going to make it back that distance. There's no way. Even if there was a way for him to get back there, you know, there's only one way he could possibly approach it, and Frizz would just back air him out of it. So, so right. I guess good, Frizz. Good stock. Well played by Frizz. Frizz was uncomfortable with the Fox Ditto on this stage, so he switches to Falco. That's what I would hope, at least. Yeah. Or, or maybe he's just feeling so dominant that he can just play with any character and beat him, anyways. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Buzzroll, <laughs> Buzzroll was doing really well last game, right up until the last couple minutes. Yep. So. For a couple left. seconds. No, well, he was down a stock, though, for a while. But we'll, ooh. we'll see what happens here. It looks like Frizz is off to a very dominant start. Frizz's punish game is like art. It really is. It's beautiful with every single character he plays. Ooh. I think the Shy Guys helped him out a little bit right there because yeah, he didn't they, know exactly where he was going to go. Yeah, Fox kind of stalled on the Shy Guys right there, which uh, I think made it easier to get the back air. I actually think Falco was do using camouflage with the Shy Guys. So, like, she's just like, Buzzroll couldn't see where he was. I it was you think Frizz thought about that before he picked this color? You know, I think that's exactly why Frizz yeah, went I, I, wouldn't, Falco. I wouldn't put it past him at all. Frizz, uh, he's really smart. By the way, I absolutely don't think that's what the case. I think that's absolute bullcrap. I wouldn't put it past him. But... <laughs> I mean, it would surprise me outside of the game if he thought like that, but if inside the game he thought, oh, I'm already red, there are shy guys here, I might as well just jump in. <laughs> you know? I would be surprised if he, like, went in to this stage with the intention of doing it. I'm thinking not... the complete, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you never want to do... Why would he do that? <laughs> I don't know. You know. It's funny because at the top level of this meta... Oh, buzz roll. <laughs> So, at the top level of this meta, it's been starting to become like an apparent thing that Falco enjoys longer stages as opposed to Fox does, because Fox can just get in on Falco, but right now... It doesn't look like that right now. Exactly! It looks like, uh, it looks like Frizz is uh, teaching Puzzle a little lesson about this matchup right now. That uh, yeah. you gotta 
work on your shield pressure, bro. Yeah. <laughs> because you're getting you're getting hit by my shines, and I'm destroying you for them. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that was a clever edge guard. He knew exactly where Frizz was going and exactly <laughs> when he was going there. I, I, I felt like Fox cuffed up blood from that voice match because it got hit so freaking hard. <laughs> yeah, it really, it really looks like the kind of thing that would, like, it, even though it happened in game, it would take the wind out of you in real life. Like, <laughs> Frizz was going for the most yeah. classical Valkyrie. <laughs> All right, that's Frizz for you. He'll, uh, <laughs> he'll do a bunch of stuff and then he'll jump off stage because he can't see the bottom and he can't remember where it is. Will Buzzroll <laughs> bring this back? Oh, he brought it back! Buzzroll! <laughs> wow! See, I knew after he SD like that, I knew that Buzzroll had that opportunity. The, I was like, is this going to happen? The momentum right was gone after that. And, uh, it's Buzzroll, not even that! <laughs> Buzzroll knew what to do. He just took advantage of that. It's not even that. It's just a matter of like getting Falco off the stage, getting his double jump. He's done. Falco can't do anything after that. Uh, ooh, we'll see what happens here. He goes back to the Fox Ditto. I guess uh, Frizz probably decided there was a bad idea. He's also going green, like, which camouflages with the background of Pokemon Stadium, or rather the ground. Well, obviously he's thinking about that now. Exactly. We mentioned in our commentary. Where, where, <laughs> where is this Fox? I don't. I can't see where Frizz is. <laughs> oh, is he I, can, edge I can see him now. Oh no, he's off stage. You can see him. <laughs> Pay attention. Come on, Dakota. Okay, okay. I got. I, I, I got to focus on this. There, there's this Fox. Focus. He's in on the right side of the screen right now. And there's this green fox that's going in the oh, middle Oh man, right he's there. boots blending with the Pokeball too. Was that green fox over here all, the whole time? <laughs> Holy moly! Oh my gosh. Wow. Both these players not using any tank grabs. <laughs> that was the sexiest trade, by the way. The Nair trade? Uh, no, was, yeah, the Nair trade. It was yeah. literally the sexiest trade that you they could just, get. They it's, just jumped into each other with sex kicks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> so sexy. <laughs> Ooh. Nice off smash out of shield. Yeah. He doesn't taunt. He knew what to do right there. I missed the whole left in jab, back, jab, 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 taunt. I haven't seen that. You haven't? No. His, his taunt button was uh, broken on his controller, so that's the way he had to taunt against people, was to jab back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember why. I don't know why. I'm only that only right left in would care that much about taunting. People. Exactly. Put a plan into, into place to do that. <laughs> it's amazing. It's an amazing taunt. <laughs> I kind of wish people would do it more now, because it's so much better than the come on time. <laughs> yeah. This is not a good space. This is not oh, a good place oh. for either of these players. Yeah. I smelled some shines right there, but they, they both make it out with their uh, stocks and you their You uh, smelled tags. some chimes. I did smell some chimes. How do you smell chimes? What does that even smell like? I can listen to chimes, but I can't. I said shines, not chimes. Oh, oh, I like, thought you said chimes. No, like, I didn't smell chimes. I smelled, <laughs> I smelled chimes. Okay, like, thank God. He's about to shine right now. That's that's what I was saying. But, uh, no, there was a grab there. I don't remember who grabbed two. It looked like uh, they were trying to stall at that transformation, so no infinites went down. No funny business. Yeah, exactly. Nice chime. Ooh, ooh. That was way too high of a percent for that to be next properly. I was real newer to the DI too, just to make sure he wouldn't get hit by the strong head. So smart. So that was another near Ooh. trade right there. Definitely wasn't as sexy because they had they had, the last one had their feet trade or they had they were yeah. touching tips with their feet. <laughs> that's what they were doing. No, I it's know what that's, happened. I know that's what you were doing. Just the way. Oh, you see that double jab there? I did see that. It's like get out of my space. <laughs> All right, Frizz takes a, a quick leap, as we've seen so far from this set. You know, neither of them is ever too far from just pulling it back. So this is when the camouflage oh. actually breaks down. This is oh, yeah. when it uh, has its downfall. All right, now that Buzzroll can see Frizz, he'll win for sure. Exactly. <laughs> Such an evil ploy by Frizz here. This is the craziest edge guard situation I've ever seen in my life. I'm a oh yeah. my god. Oh, Buzzroll. Buzzroll was he, sick. Uh, he's bringing it back. He, Frizz sees it. He doesn't want to fight him there. Kevin, the overseer, the man behind the station, uh, apparently he's cheering for Buzzroll. <laughs> he's just uh, yelling from the other room, get him! I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of cheering for Buzzroll a little myself. He's the underdog. Uh, yeah, not just that, but I want to see more melee, too. Uh, watching <laughs> these people play, is, these guys play is really fun. It's fun. Uh, it really is. It was fun even watching you two play. I'm talking to Rip the right oh, next to me. Oh, <laughs> still alive. After that uh, nair to up to the uh, nair to up, bleh, up tilt to up air by Frizz. Excuse my misspeaking. This could be it. Yeah. Any moment right here, any area will knock oh. Buzzroll off the stage. I don't know. Buzzroll looks like he has the advantage right now. Oh. Well, Foxes always do, and then they lose it, and then they die. 
Like that. It's the fox ditto. <laughs> Are you telling me both foxes always have the advantage? I also called it too. As as I saw it, I called it. I was just like, they lose their momentum and then they die. And yep. he died. Yep. <laughs> after he lost his momentum. That was like crunch time right there. Whoever loses momentum first dies, and that just happened to be buzz roll yep. in that situation. We, we have a Battlefield Game 5. I'm surprised he didn't go back to Pokemon Stadium. He's actually doing pretty decent on that stage. But uh, I don't know. Maybe he was not fond of the camouflage aspect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he sees through uh, Frizzle's strategy. Frizz definitely should have gone Dark Blue. Ooh, buzz roll with the slit kill right there. He just throws him off and shines him twice, and, you know, Fox is dead. Everything about this freaking character is slick. Right? Yeah. I, I like <laughs> watching Marth more, personally. Yeah, really? Yeah. Marth always looks so elegant when he starts to do stuff. Marth is secretly uh, one of the best matchups with the space game. And uh, what I mean by secretly, I mean not at all. Yeah, <laughs> I was about <laughs> to say, a secret? Was that a 20XX shine? That was a 20XX shine. Wow. I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. It means he uh, shined to clank. Like, you, you know the 20XX thing, right? The funny thing is... Like, um, everyone uses the shine to clank out each other's moves. Oh, so, okay. uh, it's pointless to play. They rock, paper, scissors. Well, he shined, he shined shine to clank, clank with the, the up smash. smash. Yeah. But, like, I felt like it was a phantom clank. Is that even possible? <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> a phantom clank. I, but you're the melee player, though. So, I mean, I, I trust your word. Well, I don't know. Yeah, Ooh, you, you're unsure, though, time. so... Yeah, exactly. Oh. Buzz looks like he's taken a decent lead in this game, although uh, you almost lost. Frizz, it. Frizz is looking to uh, Frizz is looking to just put him on the chopping block right there, just kneel him down and chop his head off with that uh, shine. Back. Ooh, that's brutal. Yeah. Oh, that's that's <laughs> the Gianti combo. <laughs> Ooh. That's what this guy said. I I didn't yeah. make it up. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, now it's pretty much an even game, and you see. Uh, you see Frizz actually being the one to uh, air dodge out of nowhere, and he loses his... He doesn't immediately lose his stock, but the sequence of events that followed led him to lose his stock right after he did that. Frizz has actually been really struggling to get, uh, get those edge guards, because it's like every single time he has the opportunity to edge guard, he gets the read, but he just does it either too early or too late. Yeah. I He's think been struggling with that all game. I think Budgel's doing that on purpose. Like with his recovery, uh -huh. he's he knows Frizz knows what he's going to do, so he delays it. He or, knows or that really, Frizz knows. <laughs> Yeah, he knows Frizz knows. He's on that level two layer of Yomi right there. I see that on his uh, on his recovery, which is really working out in his favor right now. Not anymore. Uh, until just now. Oh, oh he still makes see, it back. See there. Oh, you looked at me for a second. Yeah. I bet you didn't even see that stock though. <laughs> no, I didn't see him explode. <laughs> <laughs> but what what I was trying to say was that. You know, in that situation, he, oh. he knew Frizz thought he was going to go for the ledge, so he just did it early. He's dead even right now, and oh. Frizz on stock point right now. If he if he takes this stock, he this, wins the tournament. Yeah, this is tournament point for Frizzle right now. He's Frizz. the green fox, by the way. I completely yeah. forgot. Like, oh my gosh, I'm he's, just like you. He's year. trying to camo with the background. Yeah. Like, right. <gasps> oh! Buzz roll! We get one shine, he makes it back, one, and then he shines it back, and he's dead. One more game. Buzz roll dragging, Fri knocking Frizz down and dragging him all the way to game five. They're just both so he can have that shot at a reset. I'd like to point out that they're both wearing green. What? Uh, oh, he doesn't. Dude, no, I, there's I, no camouflage with red. He kind of is. See, he's like kind of dark orange. That's brown, bro. That's but, brown. Yeah, it's brown, but they're very similar colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! One has red and yellow. And, brown is like everything. And like the path. Look at his boots in the path. They're Okay, they don't really blend. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was about I'm to say. You, but. There's nothing uh, that blends about this character. All right. <laughs> Back to the match. Uh, while I was talking about colors, Buzzroll died. I don't know what... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention at all. I was just fo so focused on the color debate. <laughs> it's actually the most important part of the set is uh, the colors. Yeah, <laughs> right? All right, we Did have he go some... blue game one? I, I didn't even know there was a blue fox, so... What? Yeah. It's the purple one. All right, never mind. That's his blue uh, costume, bro. It <laughs> looks like Frizz has uh, taken the driver's seat, and he's he, he like he sees Buzzroll, you know, dragging him down over to game five. And he's like, okay, so he he puts Buzzroll in like the back of his trunk. And he's trying to drive him off the stage right now. Or he's at, he's and carpooling right now. Yeah, he, <laughs> and Buzzroll's that really tired smasher who doesn't know what he's talking yeah. about. Car carpool uh, designated uh, destination off the stage. <laughs> What's going on? Frizz is trying to off like drive him off the cliff and then jump out an illusion back to the stage. Well, he still tries to get out. I was about to call out somebody, and now I, you'll never know. You'll never know who was going to call out in that situation. 
But I, I will just say that Buzzroll is delusional at the moment. He doesn't know exactly what he's saying. He, he He's talking about the human centipede at the moment. I'm, what? He's talking about the human centipede. Like, have you, have you ever seen the human centipede? No. That, neither has Buzzroll. He really wants to see it. Why? Because he's super <laughs> tired. He doesn't know what he's talking about at this point. Why would you want to That's why he's getting four stocks at this very moment. Yeah, Buzzroll... I don't know. I think Frizz's X Factor turned on a little bit there when he realized, oh snap, I might lose this set. He has that clutch yep. factor. Frizz's X Factor just comes in and he four stocks in game five and grand final. And that's the melee tournament. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to our Frizzle for winning the melee tournament. Uh, we had some really good sets there with Buzzroll, but you know sometimes yep. you just sometimes you just can't make it in the end. You know, he'll have to go back, he'll have to hit the lab and try again next time. That was a fantastic melee tournament.